So we're looking at the expressions of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir around the world and this time we've moved to Puglia. Um, this is the Tormoresca Chardonnay. Um, it's from the same stable as Antonori. The grapes are from Puglia and also from the Bocca di Lupo estate down there, which is where they have the amazing Aglianico. Um, the grapes are made in a very clean way. You'll notice when you tried the other Chardonnays, you could smell immediately of buttery richness, brioche, butter obviously from a little bit of malolactic, brioche from a little bit of thyme on leaves and perhaps some vanilla. With this, there's none of that. This is a paired back Chardonnay. You've got sort of green apple, citrus, a little bit of stone fruit, reflecting the fact that this is a warmer climate. Um, I mentioned that Chardonnay does like cool, medium and warm climates. It's much more adaptable to warmth than Pinot Noir is. Um, this one, Puglia, is obviously one of the warmer regions in Italy. Um, and you can smell that on this wine. Let's taste it, see how the acidity is looking. Mm. It's just very pure, lovely texture, real lemon and lime, and that, that sort of almost mango note on the back palate showing that little bit of warmth, but the acidity is there. It sits there in the sort of glands, the saliva glands of your mouth, just dribbling into your mouth, showing you that there's some freshness, some lift in that wine. Um, I think that's a really good example of a Chardonnay from, from the south of Italy, showing you what it can do even in warmer climates.